Okay, right, now so I leave live. You hung up the phone. You're at your motel room. It's about six in the afternoon. And you're just chilling. You know what you have to do. A few hours goes by. You hear a knock at the door. Um, once again, I answer the door with my gun kind of pressed behind and standing a little off center. Who is it? So you do that. So you don't open it. You just ask who it is. Yep. Okay. Uh, I have a delivery here for a Daniel. It's from Surkov. Sounds a bit tired. Like oh, he hates yeah. his job. Um, yeah, I answer the door. It's just a larger gentleman. You recognize that he wears similar clothing as the other mobsters. And you can tell that he's like a low-level guy. He's just doing deliveries and stuff like that. And he's got two big cases with him. And he looks at you, kind of stern, tired look. Uh, so, can I come in? Sure. I make sure my pistol's kind of still hidden behind the door. All right, so he walks in. He uh, plops the two cases on the bed, opens the first, pulls out a Kevlar. It's like, here's your Kevlar. Right. You'll find that at the bottom, there's two flashbangs. And uh, in this other case are your weapons. Uh, feel free to inspect them. Um, I open up the other two cases. The other case. Other so case. the first case, he opened it up. Sounds good. Uh, you open it up, you see pretty nicely padded out. You know, uh, you already had your pistol, by the way, right? That's not something. Yes. Okay. So it's just basically a submachine gun. It's the Scorpion, right? Uh, Scorpion Evo, yep. So Scorpion Evo, nicely tucked in there with the nice padding and some magazines and a suppressor. All righty. All set. Well, friend of mine, uh, thank you for your work. All right. Well, uh, pretty sure you're going to have some fun with that. So good luck. I just like slip him whatever $30 I have in my wallet. Very kind of you, sir. Have a good day. Might he not, leaves. Might not need it after this. I lock the door behind him. All right. So. You gonna do any routine? What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? I take it it's a standard thread on uh, screw on QD suppressor for the scorpion. Yeah, everything very standard. Cool. Nothing fancy. Um, any sights? No sights. So that's balls. <laughs> All right, make sure the ammunition is good, make sure all the magazines are properly loaded and packed and everything. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Uh, I had said it was six, a few hours past, about eight at night. Eight at night. All right, so I got the you're address. Supposed to be, yeah, you're supposed to be getting there pretty late at night, like... 11 or 12. 11, yeah, 11 or 12. 11 sounds good. I'd say that even the folk... Working at the building, as overworking as they are, they probably want to be out before midnight. Yeah, well, Sirkov explained, he made it very clear that this, basically, I forgot to explain this, but um, he would have told you, this building has several offices. Mm -hmm. So the floor that you're going to be, you know, doing your thing at, it's separate from the other floors, and the other floors are going to be empty. Okay. And that's the whole point of this particular day this particular time is most so the that, only witness i would have is another it's like a janitor. yeah yeah mm. not even that you came with a mask of sorts right no mask oh a ski mask yeah of course they don't want you being recognized all right but of course that's not going to help you only concealability, but 
Yeah, I know. No, I'm just ho- I'm like, if it's a ski mask, I just want to know, you know, is there going to be any negative penalties or is it just, is it fine? Oh, no, no, it's sick. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that would, that would, uh, that, that's actually like an example of like getting in the way of flavor that I would be like, mm, okay. Well, I could see certain masks having that effect, but usually it would make more sense if it actually had some other benefits. Like if it's a thicker, resistant mask, it could protect you from head trauma, but you might be blindsided. You might have like tunnel vision. Or like a yeah, minus one on a perception roll or whatever. Kind of like imagine a sparring headgear. That shit covers up your vision pretty well, like your sides. Right. Almost like a horse. Talking about like the bulletproof uh, face mask. Nah, well, that would definitely get in the way. Imagine Vigil yeah. looking through those holes. Well, Vigil's got training. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like Vigil, Vigil trains constantly in that. It's basically like his training weight. But whatever. So, Ski Mask, Suppressed Scorpion. Like, even if it doesn't have the little, like, pistol grip that most folks put on the front, I'll be happy because the Scorpion is still a pretty gun. Yeah. All right. And you do have the advantage of using your own pistol. You're more experienced with it. Yeah. It feels better in your hands. The profile I'm used to. Yeah. Anything you want to do before leaving? Um, I in the middle. I'm probably in the middle of eating something, so I think I'll eat the rest of that and take a small swig out of a flask of mine. Always good. Got to numb the senses a little bit. <laughs> Doing something this insane. Okay. Um. There's a hotel phone, right? Uh, yes. I call my wife. Okay. Call for a bit. Rings, rings. Someone picks up. Hello? Uh, what does the voice sound like? Sounds like a 30-year-old woman. Hey, hon. Who's this? Uh, it's Daniel. Oh, Daniel. What do you need? Uh, nothing. I just want you to know that, um... Going out for a business meeting, you know? Time out. Uh, I want to make sure I'm getting this right. You told me you guys were, like, sort of divorced, but you're still talking. Divorced, but still talking. Okay, yeah, so she's not going to be, like, super excited to hear from you. Got it. Mm. So what'd you just say? Um, I just wanted to know that I love, I want you to know that I love you and, um, uh, I might be going to a pretty, I'm going to a pretty cutthroat business meeting this evening. Um, okay. Is you going to lose your job or something? It's not like you. No. Okay. Well, uh. I don't know. You caught me a little bit by surprise, but yeah, and sure. Do, and if I do get, and if I do lose my job this evening, don't worry. Okay. Well, uh, we, we won't, y'all won't have to worry about money. Love you, dear. All right. Love you too. And I hang up. Bye. You hang up. Okay. Good. Mm. Nice. I like that. All right, I'm going to make sure that I got my. I'm, I want to make sure that I look pretty. Sh- that I look. Now I'm still in, you know, my my suit. Got my tie on and You're everything. Pretty much always on your suit in your yeah. suit, right? Fair, pretty much. Yeah, I have a couple of smaller, one or two smaller suits and a carry on and a in my in the back of my car, but. Most of the time, I'm, yeah, I'm dressed nice. So, okay. Um, I take it that this vest, it's a Kevlar vest, it's fairly sizable. It's a thin Kevlar vest. You can put it under your, probably over your, your undershirt and then under your blazer. That's what I'm going to do, yeah. Okay. 
you know, my, my stomach will bulge a little bit because of the, uh, Let's, because the magazine pouch is all right. Let's let's drive there. Okay, so it's about eleven at night. You get out, feel that nice, cool breeze of the night, clear skies. If it were any other day, you would probably be appreciating it more, but. You got other things on your mind? Hardly even notice it. You drive over there. You pull up next to the building. It's a pretty nice looking building. It's downtown Detroit, like the nice area of Detroit. Mm -hmm. No other cars. Some cars parked. Practically nobody in the streets. And uh, it's pretty much one main entrance. Really fancy looking. But no doorman. Nothing like that. All right. Uh, give me a moment. I'm actually going to look up the rules for meditation. There's Go something ahead. that you can do. You meditated, meditated, meditated. Blah, 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 blah. There's got to be some. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Chronicles. And Page things. 75. Meditation. A character can improve her chances of resisting a breaking point by me meditating. It's uh, composure plus wits, target successes of four, interval of 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when, I, when do I show up? Because you said it was about 9 in the evening, and I'm supposed to hit this place at 11? Yeah. 11.30, yeah. midnight, more or less. You left at about 11. I'm gonna So you get there, it's about 11.30. Oh, so it's a distant drive. I thought I was fairly close. Yeah, you're not downtown. You're pretty far from the city, but still metropolitan area. Okay. It's a good drive. Damn. So you enter? Yeah. Okay. Hop out of the car. We're going places. All right. So the lobby, sizable lobby, pretty fancy. Lots of mirrors, lots of glass vases and stuff like that. I think I know which, I think I know what map you're talking about. Finger, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> now there's three elevators uh, directly forward. There's like three... Um, what are those things called where employees walk through and it like registers? Um, there's turnstiles, Turn, there's RFID, turnstiles. security tags. Just turnstiles. You could easily hop over those. But after those elevators, three, and then to the left, there's the stair axis. Okay. Um, so I'm going up the stairs get here, right? Stairs are on the left, yeah. Okay. As I'm going in, I'm going to fold the stock sideways uh, to the side and then try and, you know, do my best kind of tucking underneath my coat. Okay. So you're making your way up to the third floor mm -hmm. through the stairs. So you get to the door. Uh, you see a big hallway with doors that lead into the each specific um, office, set of offices. And you spot the one that Surkov wants you to hit. All right. Is this where we pick up here on the map? Yeah. So about, let's just say that you open the door and this is what you see. You're right at the door and you see the hall. And offices to your left, you can see one, two, three, and then a hallway to the left, and then another three offices. So about six offices to your left, 
to your right, you see that it continues going to the right. In the middle, you see that there's like a courtyard area. There's some okay. windows. Are we going to reveal a little bit more or not yet? Well, where do you want to go? You, right now, you're here. Um, here what do you want to no. do? Actually, no. Here sounds good. Less visible okay. to the inside. All right, let me reveal. Now, can you roll a perception real quick? Yep. With Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody knows but Handler. Okay, I got one hit. So, the environment is very quiet. You hear distant, like, keyboard clicks, but you can't tell from where. It's just further in. But the thing that you hear the most, actually, is some footsteps right around here. Wait, that's not the right. I'm going to pop my deal out and move it. Did you see window. where I clicked? Uh, not yet. Footsteps where? You don't see them on the map? Oh, they're next to me? You see the room next to you, to your left? No, sorry, you're right. South of me? Here. You don't see it on the map? There's a room to the right it's of black, Daniel. It's blacked out. So right here, this is a door. You see that, right? Uh, no. It's If there's doodling on the wall, I can barely not see it. That's weird, because the fog... Extend the fog just a little bit more. That might be what's happening. Whenever you're fog, whenever you're unfog of warring, you have to reveal just a little bit of the wall to give it definition. Do you see that? There's like a wall here to your right, to Daniel's right. If you're looking south, to his right, there's a door. I see here. There's yeah, you see. Entranceway or a window. You see this, right? This door? No, I don't see a door there. What the hell? That's not right. Uh, share your screen real quick. Uh, I'm on. Well, okay, yeah, I'm on stream. I think this should be good. Do, 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 do. Uh, do the whole damn thing. Do you see? Whenever I'm looking here. Oh, no, that's not right. You're seeing a weird door and some lines in the middle? Yeah. No, that's not right. On my screen, it's not like that at all. One sec. Oh, there fuck. There we go. It, huh. So on my screen, it was already at the right position, but at yours, it wasn't. Yep. There. Perfect. Cool. So actually, if it's, that's the case, when we're inside. Um, I'm stacked yes. here. All right, we could stop sharing. Sick. It'll be better for your bandwidth. I don't want to share with you anyway. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do it again. You see this ping that I'm giving you? Yes, I can hear footsteps on the other side of the wall from me. Yes, so you hear them briefly. You don't hear them anymore. And then you hear the faint sound of uh, a faucet. Can't quite tell from where. So it's okay your if I character, can. your character. Let's say he's a hero. You can see that this door mm -hmm. is closed, but it's a bathroom door. It has a bathroom sign on it. Okay. And you hear a faucet. You heard some footsteps, and now you hear a faucet. Now, just to set the scene. This place is dimly lit. All right. Okay, you can barely see to the end of the hallway, like all the way to the end of the office. All right. It's got like really nice decorating, very oriental. From Imagine the tower map from Siege. Okay. Pretty much that. All right. Um, I'd like to try and be a little uh, 
No, I don't think it matters in this specific situation yet because, you know, you know they're not expecting, you know, they're, they're expecting foot traffic. They might be expecting foot traffic, but not me. Um, so if I can carefully, like, push my way into the, the bathroom with my weapon up. From Although the I've briefing that Surkov gave you, they're mm -hmm. not expecting anything. Mm -hmm. So you do have the element of surprise. You have the stealth. All right. That's what you're banking on. So you can keep going with that. All right, cool. So as I've stepped in, before I stepped into this, you know, the door that I've come in with, um, I have taken, I have un I basically taken my scorpion out, popped the stock, set it to um, burst, I believe. Either okay, that or, set it to burst. Yeah. So that's basically just means that I'm going to you know, be shooting short bursts. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm going to be stepping inside of the, and I'm going to slowly push my way inside of the bathroom. Okay, I just need to update you on something here. Your character is standing there. He would be seeing this. Okay, that's... All right, if you got to update like the the visibility polygons, that's totally okay. Yeah, because there is a window here, and you can see. Okay, you can see that, and you do see somebody sitting in this chair through the window, and he's looking at his laptop. So he's in an office. Gotcha. You can see a little bit. A sec. See this? Yep. Part of the courtyard. Uh, you can, yeah, this peaks in a little bit of the courtyard. So this middle area, you can safely assume is a courtyard. There's moonlight coming in from above, right? Not really, because the windows to the outside are going to be all the way to the right, all, right. all the way to your east. This is a very, like, thick, large building. So a lot of this stuff is, oh, you're talking about the courtyard. The uh, courtyard. No, not really. It's, like, really dim. But there are some lights scattered around, so you can notice things. Okay. As long as there's a window to look through, you can notice. As a matter of fact, tough perception, uh, should... tough perception rolls, but possible. Maybe at a minor. Yeah, form. they're going to take a minor penalty. All right. So hold up one sec. I really want to figure out dynamic light in this game. Dynamic that's light would be really interesting, but that is a premium feature. But this is an, uh, good enough. You can tell that there's an office to your north and two offices to your north. So this is exactly what Daniel sees. All right. Nice crunch. All right. What are you doing? Um, all right. Um, pushing my way into the bathroom. So you're going to be pushing the door open, going in? Yeah, slowly. I still hear the faucet going. Which, and I, ju no, I okay. just heard the faucet start, so which means he's probably going to be washing his hands. All right, so position your character. I'm going to be pushing just inside here. This guy is at the faucet, washing his hands. He's got his back to you. Mm -hmm. I need you to roll a stealth roll for the door. Okay. Because you did open it. I'm sure you opened it slowly, but... I opened it, yeah, I opened it slowly but quickly. Don't want to take my time. Some, on it was slowly but quickly, so that's good. And you also had the faucet, but it's still right next to the guy, so it'll be a plus one modifier. The faucet is helping you out with that. Okay. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth there. Who? That was close. So you make your way into the bathroom swiftly, silently, mm -hmm. and you can tell that he hasn't noticed you yet, and All you're right. just now right behind him. Uh, squeeze the trigger once. Three rounds in his back. Okay. So, now for the surprise rules, because I... My instincts would be to just let you have that because it just makes sense. But I still think the the stealth attack is has a specific thing about it though, like it says some goddamn where if I could ever remember that because there is a surprise um, rules here for attacks. Yeah, for, yeah. Uh, for surprise combat attacks, um, not that stupid. 
Um, so he needs to roll his wits composure, by the way, because I forgot that uh, that's a contested. Let's see. So what he's going to do is that. It? What is it? What is it? And shield shooting to close combat, killing blows. Wits plus composure. A character can make a killing blow when her opponent is unconscious, completely immobile, or otherwise totally defenseless. Uh, sh shit. Wait, that's not quite what I think it is. Yeah. I'd say if you pass this surprise and you're right behind him and you're going to go for a burst shot on his back, mm -hmm. like his back of his head, mm -hmm. there's no getting away from that. But we can still roll to see I'd, the damage, say, to get used to the damage. I'd say right like the center of his back because he looks like he's just wearing a suit, right? If he doesn't pass this witch composure, yep. you act first and then we'll roll and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be in close combat with him so he can get his hands on me and I can he starts applying his defense. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah, he got two successes. It's not a surprise roll. So he noticed you coming in. Okay. Fuck. He turns around. He goes for his belt where his gun is, mm -hmm. and he's trying to reach for his gun. Now we got to roll for initiative. All right. Good news is drawing a weapon is an action. So either I shoot He's going to need to draw his once. weapon. Yep. You have quick draw. Well, you have your weapon out. So. I have my weapon up. Well, let's see. who Roll your initiative. Ready, 10. Um, that would be D10. Yeah, D10. No, 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 so no, I'm going to no, roll no. mine. Plus two minus... It's fine. You got an eight plus your... Yeah. Your, uh, initiative. Yeah, either got a nine or a seven. So... So your initiative is plus two? Yeah, my initiative modifier is plus two. You have a large SMG, though, right? So it's a minus three initiative. So you get a minus one overall. Yep. So that's uh, seven? Seven. So I'm still ahead of his ass. Yeah. Well, he does get a plus one, so he's also at a seven. Uh, let's just roll. For that case, let's just roll a d10. Whoever gets higher racks first. Oh, I got a three. Roll yours. <laughs> okay. You act first. You going down, son. All right. Um, Check this yeah. out. Control you. Control you. There you go. Ooh, Open fancy. up your turn order. Are you going to mark a um, seven? Right now, you're acting. All right. Oh, boy. Well, all these things oh, I yeah, could do. So Short burst of the chest. Seven, six. There we go. Short burst to the chest. So that's going to be his defense will apply. Uh, no, I said I wanted to be. Actually, no. Um, if so, then... Because you guys are, like, point blank right now. Yeah, then I'd like to move, like, here. Ha or I wanted to be, like, as close as I could get without him getting his defense in. Well, let's see here. It's a small bathroom, though. I'd say... Get the... I mean, the only place you could move to get enough distance for that would be to move back to where you came from. Would he have any cover, then? Probably not. So I'd say you can move like back here. You're not within melee range anymore. And then from here you can give a, a burst shot. What is melee without range? Defense. Five feet or three feet? I think three. I'm doing meters now, but I usually do it as a third of a um, typical speed, which is 10. So like 3.3, three, three meters, I think. All right. Um, let's do, yeah, we're going to do an attack roll. Okay, so you have your dex firearms, right? Yes, uh, so that'd be rolling three, no, three plus two, five, plus two suppressor, minus one strength, six. No. What's your burst um, bonus? It's a short burst. Pop, pop, pop. 
or oh, okay, three three rounds. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's three plus two plus short burst minus strength. Right? Yeah, you yeah, minus one from strength. Plus so one burst, so that cancels out. Um cancels out. and that should just be your skill and attribute now. Yep. Do it. I'm gonna spend a will. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, burn the first wheel of the evening. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh! Three One, hits. One, two, three. Three hits plus five. Uh, three hits plus two, which is five. Okay, I see. Oh, shit. Okay, you got five. Okay. Um, you shred this guy up pretty badly. Mm hmm. Most of the bullets hit the entire, like, shiny, back, white, pristine bathroom tiles behind them just go red in a flash. Everything just, like, there's just this mist of red behind him. Yeah. And he just starts screaming in agony. And he starts clutching at his wounds. And he starts falling back. And he's just sliding on the wall and blood is just he's painting the wall with blood as he slides down All right, cool but I you can tell that down. he's still oh, using his arm and he's not fully out of it so turn order there we go his turn baby he just yells out this because now it's actually his turn he can take a verbal action fuck uh if you're wondering why he didn't do that before he just goes, ah, oh, fuck. And he just rips out his gun and points it at you. But at this point, his turn is over, and it's back to you. All right, cool. Um, he used another, his action. Another short burst. This time, I'm not going to be using a will. Okay, so how many would you roll? Five to uh, ten. Five. Please, right. love of God. Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's two successes. That's uh, four damage? Four damage. Okay. Hold up. Here's what happens. <laughs> you see his gun point at your face. You let off three rounds from your SMG. His face just gets destroyed. And there's even more blood on the wall. And his arms go limp. And his gun falls on the ground. And it makes a clanking noise. And now he's just this shredded up Yakuza guy that you could tell is 100% dead, no doubt. <laughs> gotcha, cool. So as this happens, as soon as I you know, see, and I know he's down, I'm going to step behind this corner again as fast as I can. Okay, you do that. Now, uh, your character recollects himself. He's back into stealth mode. He's listening for things, and he can hear something. And it's coming from his right. Down the hall, this direction, this is a ping that isn't representative of exactly where, but it's the just area. the direction that you hear the noise area from. around here. And you hear a very faint noise of, and by the way, at any point that I'm saying this, you can tell me, okay, stop right there, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. Because um, as I'm saying it, the things are happening that you're listening to. Gotcha. Cool? Wits, um, okay. I'd like to like listen to the noises sound like... They know where I am. Do they sound aggressive, or do they just sound really, really... Well, what they sound like, you're going to judge for yourself. But what you hear is this. You hear... A th and this is very faint, by the way. Like, shuffling of uh, chair wheels. Mm -hmm. Some footsteps. And the footsteps start to get progressively louder. There's a door opening. Okay. Closing. And now they're starting to get slightly louder. You hear the footsteps approaching your position. All right. Um... Fuck. Would I be able to make... Is there some way, something that I might be able to roll to find out more information? Like, does it sound like... Oh, shit. Because I'm... It sounds like he went into another... It sounds like he went into another room, right? 
the noise, the order of the, well, first yeah. of all, you should have rolled a yeah, perception. Okay. Do a quick perception roll. Uh, that's still a 5d10. It's a hit. You gotta make macros, dude. Much faster. Okay. So, one success. So, the order of the sounds you hear is from faint to loud, shuffling of chair wheels, footsteps, some footsteps, door opening, door closing, and then footsteps from then on keep getting progressively louder. So, he went into a room... Or he Pause left for a, a second, or left a room. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm, uh, I'm going to assume that he's armed. Check out the status effect on the dead guy. <laughs> yeah. If I hear him open up, if I hear him do what sounds like opening up the bathroom door, um, I'm going to step back a little bit to about here. And let off a medium burst if I see him. Okay. So, so the footsteps for? get louder. Mm-hmm. Footsteps get louder and louder, and you hear them really close. And then you hear, and then you hear the footsteps stop. And then you hear I'm stepping. What the what the fuck is this? So as I step, and then you hear. Okay, you're stepping because as soon as that ends, you start hearing the door opening, and as you step out there. This guy here, you don't see anybody in that office. Yep. Down down here. He's over here. He's in the in the motion of opening the door. And oh, and by the way, there's some blood, like blood splashes. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Um uh, even like further behind the door a little bit, but he's opening the door now. Gotcha. So if he oh he's in the process of opening the door. Yeah, slightly. You're trying to catch him by surprise, correct? I'm trying to catch him, yeah, whenever his hands are busy. Stealth roll. Stealth. Okay, let's fucking go, boys. That's a fucking... Test it, baby. I think that's still... Yeah, it's still a 5d10. I just roll 5d10s for everything. This is great. Well, I gave you a plus one before because of the faucet. (laughs) Faucet noise was masking the sound quite a bit. Right now, there's none of that shit. Oh, then shit. I should have had a fucking... Because my stealth is dex stealth. That's a a 5, so I should have done 6. I did tell you though, plus one, right? That's oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I had it. Never mind. Yeah, I had the modifier. We're good. Okay. I was, I All was right, go for it. Correct. Uh, I rolled, and it was no successes. No successes. Okay, no need for him to roll then. Um, First, yeah, because no the defense always has the advantage. If it's a tie, defense wins. Gotcha. At or least if, I'm oh, assuming this, this is a surprise roll, like so we just roll flat initiative. Yeah, just roll flat initiative. Initiative. Uh, go for it. I'm only considering the first, which is a 10. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Christ. <laughs> okay. This is about to get weird. Mm. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. What's we your bonus? We fucking get lit up. Uh, plus two. Well, no, no with a minus one and with a nine. You rolled a nine? No, I, I have win. a... a uh, <laughs> he, he, rolled, he rolled an 11 because he doesn't have a weapon in his hands and none of that shit. <laughs> All right, so that's him. That's you. Oh, God. Okay, he immediately looks, and let me just check what he has here. Okay, so he lets off a yell, intruder, and he also goes for his gun. So you see at his waist, it's a pistol. You don't know which, but he's going for it, and he yells, intruder. And he starts backing away like this. Let me just check the distance real quick. So he's going to use about a third of his movement. He's backing up like this, yelling and going for his gun. Okay. Now it's your turn. And he's he he I'm has well his gun range. pointed at you. I am well within range. What? I am well within range. We're going to do a medium burst. Oh, dude. Office buildings? Yeah, everything's in range. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, I'm going to move here. I would like to be in half cover. Okay. That's a two, right? It's two. Minus two to him, minus one to you. Yeah. Minus two coming into me, minus one going out. Gotcha. 
Let's do it. Holy fuck. Okay, so a medium burst knocks out. One sec, somebody's at the door. Think whatever you want to do. Is that a bird? Oh no, it'll be Gonna five base minus so the minus one strength plus one. Nevia, you're such a goofball. <laughs> Nevia, tell Nevia she's, tell Nevia that, she's a goofball. <laughs> Nevia, tell Nevia she's a goofball. And she should stop, like, singing the Lion King really badly. Uh, for all who aren't initiated, that is Fingler's lovely wife. Who is just as goofy as she is. He is. They're both, they're both dumb. I love them both. Strength minus one cover plus two medium burst. Hello. Oh, Hello. there we go. I had it on push to talk. Um, plus uh... two for the silencer. So I'll be rolling seven dice. Okay, give me one sec. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Third. Um. Test roll. Deck roll. Decks fire bombs. We're going to be rolling weird things. Hope this works. Hello? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hey, I'm testing this. Are these, uh, not valid? These rolls? No, I'm trying to see if how it actually calculates this, and it and it actually calculates this in the proper method. Let's see, two damage. That's so. This so this macro handles it perfectly because it'll automatically. Does it take into consideration the, the cover, the burst, all that? Um. I did that before I put the dice in. Okay. Oh no! I should have been rolling it a plus two this whole time because, hey, Lamau. All right, cool. The macro just does your skill attribute. You got to figure out the modifiers. Yeah. Because right now you have a minus one from cover, a, minus a plus three from medium burst, or plus no, two. No. So the strength. So my strength and my cover come to a minus two. The medium burst comes to a plus two, so it cancels. Plus the plus two okay. from my suppressor. That's a plus two or a plus one? Plus two. Minus okay. one damage. So plus overall plus two, do it. Yeah. So seven dice. A seven, so. And plus two. All right. So um, that's four damage. Yeah. Two successes. Uh, no. Okay, so... Three damage. By the way, My you have your here. bullet counter up there yep. on the blue thing. You, yep. You've been I've doing been that, right? Okay. Lately. How um, many bullets is a medium burst? Um, About 10, so I'm going to roll a d10 here.
Let's say seven bullets. Okay, so you go behind cover. Yeah, I'm now you in take cover. take the shot. Now, what you see is his surrounding area, his chest, his legs. You see some bullets hit him. You see some uh, bursts of blood. But mostly you see just shrapnel and dust and little puffs of cloud from behind him. And the walls and the windows and the windows to the courtyard, they're just shattered. The whole place is just fucked up. The office behind him, that window is shattered. It's gone. And he even takes a little step back, and he's like, he's in a pretty bad state right now. Okay. Let me see here. Let's... He's in a pretty bad state, but he's he's still up. He's He's not too bad. And now it's his turn. So he takes his firearm out. He moves sort of over here. He tries to get in the cover. It's not easy, but right now he's at a minus one for you. Okay. Uh, no net penalty for him. Yeah, he's basically in just enough cover to say he is. With yeah, he's using the edge of this wall here, like just slightly, just so it's a little bit harder for you to shoot him. Basically, so he can have something better than so, he takes a shot. Uh, you don't. You can't really tell what gun it is, and you're not really worried about that because you're getting shot at. But let me see here. So now let me count his stuff. Or okay. Oh, oh boy. Let me just check the chart. Is that with all the proper? That's with all the proper stuff. Okay. God. Okay. So that's four damage, buddy. What's your Kevlar vest going to do for what? that? Three? What? How? Yeah. No, please, yeah, make you, you got... please show me the damage rolls, the public rolls. For oh, this. wait. Excuse me. Uh, you had a minus one for him. No, because I have a cover. minus one shooting out. Minus two is he has a minus he, two. He has a minus two coming in. Okay, I did that wrong. I should have rolled two dice. I rolled four. Yeah. So let me do that again. Okay. <clears throat> it's fine. Three damage. What's your Kevlar vest do? Pretty sure it's three, isn't it? Um. It soaks one of them, so I take two bashing. The first number is uh the first number is total general soak. armor yeah. and the number after the slash is ballistic armor. Yeah, which is what downs grades from lethal to bashing. Okay, so you take three bashing? I would take two bashing because my Kevlar vest soaks the first it goes through the first point. So the first point stops one damage. And then So now you have two lethal damage to deal with and those yes. become bashing. Okay. Yes. Okay, so two bashing damage. All right. So that hits you pretty much dead on in the stomach. It's like getting punched in the stomach by a really strong boxer. <laughs> All right. But you're still in there. That hurts like hell. Um, All right, you're up. Would I be able to make a reflexive, like, wits, firearms... To figure out what kind of gun that was from the sound and from the hit. Um, let's see here. Do a perception, except with wits. Yeah, for wits firearms for sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, guys! It's five to ten. Fuck! It's a gun. It's a gun. It ain't bad. <laughs> it's a gun. I got shot. You're kind of sure it's a gun. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Mm. What are you going to do? I'm going to send another medium burst down range his way. Are you going to leave your cover? Are you going to stay? Um, 
It was a pretty, you don't know which gun it is, but you were pretty, it was a pretty scary bang. It was very a, loud. It was a good bang. Yeah. It sounded, it sounded powerful. Yeah, it's, it's, well, no, it's, it sounded like a gun. If I would have, if, if, I'm pretty sure if I would have made the hit. Yeah. It shoots bullets. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it does that gun thing. It shoots bullets and everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Christ, this sucks so hard. Things are I'm so much more scared of gunfights in this game now. Oh my god, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. This is now if like if c gun combat is this deadly, Fingler, I definitely want to make a hideous destructor, th uh, like one shot. Like I've still got the ZM stats sitting around for some fucking where. <laughs> See ya. I'm just updating saying. your line of sight because you would be seeing past the second window here. Okay. Second. Medium burst. Let's send another like six bullets downrange at this bitch ass. Uh, or would you, or would you medium move? would be ten. Medium would be ten. About ten. So you've already you you got less than eighteen, don't you? Um, if you I'm were at twenty five. Was it twenty five? Then I shot seven bullets, and so I guess we can do eight now. So I'll be at ten. But isn't it always 10 bullets, medium? It says 10 or so. Okay, that's fine. Let me see. No, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Auto fire, medium burst. 10 or so bullets at 1 to 3 targets. Yeah, that's fine. So, all right, do it. Behind cover. Minus 2. There you go. Minus 2, minus 1 for you. Only to minus 1. All right, here we go. Actually, let's properly update this. If this is one. Let's see. Two damage, normal. All right, so you said that it would be a, what, a plus... Shit. Where's my pen? I'm writing it down because I suck eggs. Five base. Minus two cover and strength. Plus three. No, plus two. Medium. I'm just gonna get a drink. Yeah, a lot of the time you do. Welcome to the wind tunnel, everybody! Plus two suppressor. All right, I got a cold one. Let's do this. Oh, I hope it not, hope it's not frozen. Um, so I think this is a plus two modifier for my yeah, it's a plus two. Probably gonna be the same as before. No, it's oh. a plus one. What do you mean? Because he's behind cover now. Minus one. Oh, fuck. That was a good roll, too. Son of a bitch. Yep, got to do it again. Plus one. <laughs> <laughs> got to get it right. <laughs> That's still three damage. 
Suck an egg. Bastard. Oh, hey, the last shot that you got on him wasn't a plus two damage, was it? Because of the suppressor, mm -hmm. right? No, we calculated that properly. Took Wait a minute. Damage in. Why are you doing plus one damage now? Hmm? Oh, that's the weapon. Two hits on my roll. Plus. Your weapon damage is three, isn't it? No. That's, that's three damage I did, but the black number on this macro is, is the hits. my hits, and then the plus one is the automatic damage. Automatic damage on a submachine gun with a suppressor should be two, right? No, it's two normally. The suppressor gives me two extra dice to hit. It takes away guaranteed automatic damage because of the oh, subsonic bullets. You're absolutely right. It's two. Mm -hmm. I thought it was three. I'm still in, like, New World of Darkness mode. Yeah, instead of Chronicles. Okay. Um, you let off so, another medium burst. So now. I think that means that I've hit him twice for three, which means that if he's not dead, he looks so like what the, Was this three? Three damage right now? Three damage. Mm. Okay. Well, your character only knows what, he's, what he can see. Uh, you shot... Now, are you seeing this ping right here? You see this corner? Yeah. You fucked that corner up. Like, there's <laughs> pieces of shrapnel and ceramic tiles just blown off. It's just concrete under. And then a lot of it hit him. You can see, like, the mist of blood behind him. But at this point, dude, you can't really tell in the heat of battle because this is, like, a matter of seconds. What I have turns. to make a... What the information that you have is that first of all, there's all this like smoke and dust from shooting yeah. the wall, dust and shrapnel. and you do see some red mist behind it, but it's a mess for the time being. You don't know it's a mess, you it's don't like know. playing a mixture you, of black siege and insurgency. But you do hear a slump and you do hear agony like uh screaming, but the agony and the screaming doesn't stop, it's ongoing. Okay, so you know he's not dead, but you heard a slump, so you know he's on the ground. All right, cool. Um, so I know he's on the ground. I'm going to step. That's the prone, uh, the prone icon, icon right there. Okay. Best one I could find. Oh, boy. Okay, so I've got... Wait, it's his turn. Yeah, it's his turn. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh... You've since you have you're behind cover, but you're still looking. You see the flash from a gun. He lets a fire off, a shot off. Uh -huh. What did I throw the last time? That was a two d ten from your minus two, right? You're still at minus two. I'm still minus two he's to hit. He's reduced to a chance roll. Okay, bring a chump. So, okay, he doesn't hit anything. You <laughs> see the flash. You hear the gun fire, and behind you. A big chunk of the wall just blows up from okay. the bullet. Wump. All right, cool. Do you want to try to identify the weapon again? Yeah, actually. I'd love to. Reflexive. All right. Do it. Uh... Hey, Fing? What? Hold on. I'm going to look up what Trained Observer does. Oh, you have that. I have that. I'm a cold calculating some bitch and a half. Where's my goddamn merits? Where are you? Trained observer. Oh, no, it's like anything. Uh, your character spent years in the field catching tiny details and digging for secrets. They might not have a better chance of finding things, but they have a better chance of finding important things. Anytime you make a perception roll. Is this a perception roll, or is this like a combat awareness roll, really? Like, no, it's a perception roll. Okay. What do you get from trained? Um, trained, I get nine again. <laughs> yeah, do it. All right.
Uh, Unless this only applies to like general perception rolls, wits, composure. I think it's just general. I think it's yeah. I think this is a very specific thing, which is okay. Go for just a typical wits uh, firearms. Gotcha. So it's still a five d ten. Thank God. I just love this. I just roll five d ten for every fucking minus one because there's so much smoke everywhere that <laughs> no! you could only base it off the sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son no, of you know what? It's fine. Son. It's a nineteen eleven. I still got it. Suck an egg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the nice. Same roll. It's a four. It's, li- it's a forty-five I, I, ACP pistol. That's a heavy. It's a forty. Yeah, it's a forty-five. It's a, yeah, you don't know if it's a nineteen eleven or something else, but ASP. it's heavy. It's a heavy pistol. All right then. And it just confirms the hole that was created behind you. Just confirms it because yeah. it's huge, as well as one <laughs> of my bruised ribs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shit balls, <laughs> asshole. Now here's the problem. This happens at this exact moment. Mm-hmm. This dude shows up right here in this corner. There's that corner. Right from that corner, you see this guy showing up just going, what the fuck is going on here? So he, let's see here. Are we rolling yeah. initiative again? We have to roll again, right? Yeah, because we'll... Um, if For you this put, guy, no, we no, do. No, 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 Like, if the other guy's... Because the other guy's still in the game. So you have to roll initiative for him. Unless he is... So unless, you're, roll... unless you're saying he's so out of commission that he's no longer in initiative. He was 11. You were 9. Yeah, I was... Correct? I was 9. This guy is 10. But fuck. So he goes before you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, fucking... Uh, Saren's a bitch right now. <laughs> He's making fun of me. Uh, You're 9. There we go. Now it's correct. So, okay. This guy pulls out his gun. Okay. And what you see... Now, you don't need to roll for this because what you see looks like a light pistol okay. with a, quite a long extended mag in it. Make oh, whatever fuck. assumptions you want from that. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, an extended magazine is bad enough. Um, honestly, even if, it, if it's a... Oh, God. It might be a Glock. Um... I'd have to make a wits. I'm gonna have to make another wits reflex because it's my turn, right? Um, right now it is your turn. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to make a reflexive, I guess, wits firearms. Yes. Um, there's no debris over there, and he's well illuminated enough that I can. Well. You're not going to get any penalties or bonuses, so just okay. go for it. Yeah, I'm seeing that fucking pistol. <laughs> Dude, can we just actually make wait a, a minute? Quick pause here so you can make these macros. I want to have like the proper thing here. Actually, I could probably still just have this as a, a blump. Bop. So, see what I just sent you? Now, you can either type that out every time you want to roll, yeah. or you can actually make macros. Like, I have macros here. Let me show you. Oh, is that those little, like, one, two, three, four, five at the bottom? Yeah. That's, like, dice pools? Yeah, so here. Just check it out. <gasps> Do you see my I shit? Yeah, I see your shit. See my macros? Yeah, I if I want to roll five dice, boom. Like five. I roll five. It has the auto ten again. It tells me how many successes, all that stuff. I like to do the three You should dice. make your macros. I'll make my macros after this. I'm also okay, trying to cover that, your this screen is so I don't cheat. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I need to. I say I wasn't smart. Thing. I need to stop that. Sorry. Cool. No longer peeking. I wasn't peeking then. Cool. Okay. Good. Um. Um. So you succeeded, say? and uh, you ha- can tell immediately that this looks like a Glock 19. 19. You know what that means. Cool. It's not automatic. Wait, which is the Glock that is automatic? 18. Okay, that's the one you... Oh, Sorry, right. that's... I, what so... I wanted is for him to have an, a fully automatic pistol. 
Okay, I so didn't remember which one it was. Holy yeah. shit! Okay, um, okay. Well, do you know what that means, boys? It's party time. We're fucking leaving. <laughs> um. Fuck, that's a blind entrance. I don't know what's over there. Um, well, I have. To, would I be able to like charge this door right here? You can charge the door, you can charge the window. You can see that there's a window, right? Yeah. So there's a window, there's a door, whatever you want to do. Um, you don't know if it's locked. Now, the movement you have, what you would need to test is uh, an athletics roll to see if you can either bust down the door or bust down the window. It's your choice. Window. I'm going for this window. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to dive through the window and try and like land prone. I don't know if that's going to fall under like the same, the same old rules or if we're just going to fluff it. That's going to be dexterity athletics. All right, boy, let's see what this dexterity athletics, I don't got a good feeling about it, son. <laughs> Actually, no, it's still a 5d10. <laughs> <laughs> athletics is important, dude. I'm telling you. Booyah! Two hits, sucker. Nice. Okay. So, you smash into the window, place your guy wherever you want him to be. Your movement will allow you to basically choose wherever inside the office. So, yeah, okay. okay. You basically dive straight through the window, it shatters, and you do like a quick roll, and you're on your feet, you're in the office, safe for now. Um... Depending on how he close he gets, um, I was actually hoping for this to lay down, like be laying on my back so that I'm technically a prone target and he'll have a minus two to hit me. Do you know if you could do a uh, delayed action? Because if you're not going to spend your action, because you have a movement, a reflexive, and a action, right? Does the movement count as an action? That's if you want to move twice in one turn. That's like if yes. you're escaping someone. And that's also you, you, have, to, you have to use your an, full action. You also as have to use an action to get up from prone. Okay, so you're gonna be prone. Are you able to do what we were talking about before, which is delaying your action for an ambush? Like if you see him, you perform your action. Is that a thing? Yes. Give that a shot. Um. Fuck. The real the real question is is can I hold uh, I have to decide whether or not he's going to peek through the window or open a door. You have to decide which you want to cover. Yeah, I do. Fuck! And if you choose correctly, you'll get a free shot on him. Mm. Door. Anything above a five will be one of those two. Okay. So <laughs> his turn now. There we go. Wait. Uh, the 11 in the turn order was the guy that was hurt, right? Oh, if I hover over it. Okay, never mind. It tells me. Yeah. So actually, uh, one sec. Oh, wow. Okay. So you remember that guy that you almost killed? He did not just burn a dying? will to hit me. He did not just no. burn a will to hit me. 
I don't know if you saw, but it was a 10 on a chance die. So my apologies, but there ain't no escaping that. You jump through the window, you smash and roll. You're feeling like a badass, but you feel this thud on your back and it hurts and it puts you on your stomach on the floor. You wanted to be prone. You got your wish. Fucking. Uh... <laughs> so what? I take another so bastion? Uh, that's uh, one. So that's one damage that you don't take and another becomes bashing, yeah, correct? One soak, one bashing. Son of a Yeah, so you're at three you bashing now. Shithole. Yeah, Holy you got a shot goodness. on you while you were diving. <laughs> oh, and my now... God. No, it's way more fun if you don't backseat, Saren. Holy shit. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even care if this character lives. We're actually combat simming right now. What is this? You're talking to Saren? Saren. Yeah, I'm talking to chat. Hey, chat. Oh, cool. huh? Hey, guess what? Look who shows up right at the edge of this shattered window. Cox! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a prone target. He's got a minus two. He can suck a dick. Okay, he's got a minus two. That's fine. Uh, what is a medium burst? <laughs> Bonus plus two. Plus two. Okay. Son of a bitch. And let's see. Just so I'm sure everything sober. is good. He's gonna be behind this corner, and he's like, he's blind firing pretty much. So he takes a minus two, but he's at a minus three for you to hit him. So he's almost blind firing. He's Wait, very much so hit minus, minus three is where like you can only you're basically only peeking out your shoulder and your head. Yeah, he takes a minus two to shoot you, but he's, he's if he's doing he blind fire, almost, he's in cover. I, no, I, I'm just saying almost blind firing. Like he's very much so in cover. Okay. So um so that minus two gets negated. He had a Plus two. Wait, what did we say again? You had the prone. So I that's have minus I two. Have, uh, he has minus two. Medium burst plus two. Minus so that's two negated. From his cover. So and then minus two. two. So okay, so he two. has just a minus two. Okay. okay. Suck a fat egg, you whore. Okay, so basically, you're laying down in the middle of this office after getting shot in the back on your Kev Kevlar, mm -hmm. and all you see is this guy show his pistol behind the shattered glass it just starts spraying the whole room <laughs> dust and debris is falling on top of your head but nothing hits you no bullets you're still good <laughs> okay i use my movement to roll over on your turn. my back over here uh -huh. or like basically kind of roll out of the way over here and then i'm going to hold okay. my action um because he's going to have to peek me a little more. He will, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to hold my action and make a willpower medium burst. Uh, this being for the ambush? For this being your for ambush on the plan. window. If he peeks more into the window, I'm going to fucking destroy him. Okay. So, Shut let's see up, here. Son of a bitch. Him again. And he shows up a little bit more. This time he's a little bit more confident because he doesn't know if he hit you or not, but he just knows he filled that room with lead. Gotcha. What's and he it? shows himself up to a minus one for you and no penalty for him. And he's he's brazen. He's looking at you. Oh, he's feeling good. You get a minus one, though. So okay. you can take your shot. You see him. All right. So medium burst knocks out the strength, plus two to the suppressor. So it's only a minus one going out. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm actually not I'm actually kind of concerned. The weapon penalty? What's the weapon's penalty? <gasps> because Wait, is of that my strength. That you put... I think How is this taking that into consideration though? Did you there's, set up? There's a, there's a dice roller on the sheet that automatically uses some of this stuff. Well, 
If hover over the number and see how many dice were actually rolled. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, I have a real easy way to test this. Yep, it's taking into my consideration my lesser strength. So I should have been just rolling it a one. Well, that's fine. You get you still had a three uh, sixty ten, so you're fine. Was this a burst of any kind? Oh, it was a medium burst, so I am out of ammunition. You forgot to put in your willpower, right? Oh, I did. Do you want to roll an extra three? Um, it's the same. Because the second run that I did was the right one. Oh, I think. Yeah. But that's the thing. Yeah, never mind. It wasn't intended. It was a test roll. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a test roll. You can roll three more. Yeah, I'll roll three I'll more it. than add it. Yeah. So what is it? Three d ten greater than eight. Bang. Two oh, minutes. so four damage. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy. Just got riddled with bullets to his chest and face. And he is back here laying on his back. And that's all you know. <laughs> all right. Uh, can you put that skull over him? I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. You don't know yet. I can't put any skull. I can't uh, do anything. You don't know. Um. Okay, so... Uh, for this, I'm going to because the window is covering like the part, the base of the window is covering his body. You don't see it. Okay, but you can hear squirming. All right. Um, as a reflexive action, I'm going to let go of my scorpion. Whoosh, draw my handgun. Okay. I'm gonna be rolling all kinds of dice for this bitch. <laughs> I'm a fucking smooth operator, son. And what are you doing now with that? Oh, gotta, are mark, you just... gotta mark my three willpower. Zero bullets left in the main. I see you. Actually, I don't see you. Yeah, I'm laying down. Oh, uh, that's, that's actually no. That's my turn. So I have my pistol drawn. Scorpi you have your pistol yeah. drawn. Scorp yeah, Scorpi yeah. I was messing around with one of these guys, but uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, Daniel didn't see it. All right. What are you doing? Um, I've used my. Actually, I still have some. Actually, no. I can't get up because I don't have an action this turn. So I'm done. I have my. Scorpion on my sling is dangling over or on my chest over my Kevlar, and I have my pistol up ready to anything that comes in. Okay, so you hear squirming, mm -hmm. so you're pretty confident that that guy's very hurt just based on his squirms. It's very guttural. You can hear blood gurgle, gargling, mm -hmm. uh, but you still hear him. He hasn't stopped. And do you want to make a perception roll real quick? Of course. At a minus three. I'll make a minus three, bitch. Because it's there's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of bullets flying. Yeah. It's not going to be easy to make this perception roll. Minus three. Is this a regular perception roll? Yeah. Okay. Um. Cool. That's good to know because I get trained observer then. Because it's investigation or perception, general perception, and this Do is it. a general perception, right? And you get plus two, right? Uh, no, I get nine again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Greater than eight Use that. Nine. What I just typed, except you for nine again. I think it's a nine exclamation mark. No exclamation mark nine. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Just, I'll do it. Just roll the dice. See hey! what happens. Hey, I'm doing it again. Fuck you. Yep, one more. Hey, bang. Just roll a D two or higher on D ten. Shut up. Son of a bitch. Oh, well, I got a nine. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> so you hear a door opening in the distance to your south. Okay. And you hear the sound of a gun being loaded. And the next thing that you hear and see is that door that's in front of you being yeah. riddled with bullets. 
It um, is just bang, 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 fully automatic. The door is getting shredded up. You can try to move a little bit, but the bullets aren't really hitting you. You're still on the ground. Now my turn. I'm a prone target. If I get up or move, I'm gonna be in trouble. So you're you're basically just like putting your hands over your head, yeah, prone. Covering, yeah, covering my covering my. Using you my, feel splinters of wood just shoot at your at your head at your back. And yeah, that door is just. No, gone. it'll be it's over. It'll be over. Shredded. It'll be over my chest. Oh, you're like on your back. Okay, yeah, I was on my back. That's how I shot the guy. Wait, yeah, yeah. This goes on for a while, by the way. Like you can, a, oh. a full mag has been dumped on that door. So he's reloading. You can make that assumption if you want. Oh fuck! He's just gonna dump his entire fucking magazine like an idiot. And you hear screaming. But uh, yeah, the door. You can even see quite well through it. That's how badly damaged it is. Do I see him? Too much smoke, too much debris. Shit. You don't see shit. Um, I use my action to get up. Okay. You're up. All right. Um... Okay. I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> Can I have the fog of war cut away? So this yeah, guy's at a seven. Yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see him very faintly through the smoke. That's him. This guy right here. Yeah, that's him. All right. Cool. I'm going to move with my action. I'm going to get up, charge through the debris, jump over like a broken part of a door if I need to, or just charge okay. through and put myself on this corner in full cover. So the guy that was hurt, who's here, he would have had an action now, right? He's the... If he's fucked up and lying on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to have an action. So he's going to actually take a shot at you. Okay. But he's at a chance roll. I was about to say, considering what I did to his ass, he better fucking be at a chance roll. Suck an egg, bitch. Yeah, he just sprayed in your direction, but nothing hit. <laughs> okay. And now um, it's your turn. All right, cool. So I'm going to shoot his ass with my okay. fucking, with my Glock. Um, Take your shot. Cool. He's, uh, I don't know, because he's at a minus three. No, he's at a minus two. If you want, and, you can subtract that minus two from his defense. Well, not his defense, but it's prone, because he is prone. Oh, no, he's, he's going to be minus two, so that wouldn't matter, because it's a ranged attack. So it's just down, back to default. Yeah. Just make a normal attack. Oh, right, because Unless ranged, his, because ranged. Well, no, because his rightmost health box, oh, we're his second that. rightmost is uh, filled in, so mm -hmm. he takes a minus two, but does that affect your minus two from his prone? I don't think so. I think that's just for his actions going out, because just because someone's bleeding to death and lying down on the ground, ask any GI from World War II, just because somebody's, like, fucked he's up. He's still going to be a little harder to shoot. He's yeah, going to be harder mean, to hit because he's a low profile. Minus, minus two. I would Go like ahead. for my oh shit. I would like Okay, yeah, fuck it. He's going down. Um so what a 3d10? Sure. 3d10. Also uh Puddin wants to know if that's Majima from the Yakuza games that you're using as an icon. Oh, it's just some picture I found on Pinterest concept art. Here, uh, my friend Finger somebody watching, flow. let me find him here. This is the one I used. I'm actually going to use this. So and then, here's the funny thing. If you put it into the fog of war, nobody can see it. No, one sec, one sec. I'm sharing. And you can look. I've concealed the other stuff. Is that the guy? 
Um, that's on screen. That's share. the one I use. My stream can't see that. Shit. I have what if you take your? Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I was have. Uh, that's I have fine. Specifically, this window captured. So yeah, it I probably do... is. But all right, let's fucking go. Three D ten. I'm gonna squeeze around out of this thing. And oh wait, no. Four D ten. Because I have pistol specialty. <laughs> Get ripped. Is that the guy he's thinking of? Uh, we'll see in a second. You don't see a dude just appear out of nowhere? I know, but stream's going to take a second to catch up. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, so yeah, if you want for now, just cut it. And put it in ICBM later. All right, one sec. I got to take a piss. Oh my god, are you shitting me? Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna make the roll anyway. <laughs> oh shit, that's four damage. Oh god, with one handgun shot, I'm doing as much damage as I was doing with the submachine gun. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's Okay, so whatever you saw on that screen share, I'm changing it up. <laughs> Nox? Yo, guess what, bitch? What? Check that latest roll. Wait. Weren't you rolling 3d10? 4d10. Pistol specialty. Oh! That's... This new system, the automatic damage, makes those specialties huge. Dude. You shot him in the throat, and the back of his head just blew open. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's so dead. <laughs> Get ripped. Okay. Uh, are you going to move? Are you going to do anything? Um, wait, crap. Uh, does pistol, does quick draw mean that I can holster it? Because I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm going to need two or three turns to get that scorpion fully loaded again. Oh, so my. the scorpion's out of ammo. Scorpion is dry as fuck. Uh, reloading? Let me take a look. I forgot, actually. Reloading is an action. Drawing a weapon is an action. So I can reflexively, I think, put my pistol away. I would say you can reflexively put your pistol away, mm -hmm. but you need to use your quick draw to bring out your Evo. Uh, I only have, and that's you, have to, you have to specify quick draw, I think. Well, that's a reflexive, so you'd have to use the next round's reflexive. And next round's reload um, action to reload. Let me see this, because I think this is a combat stat. Quick serve, CC the edge. Quick draw. Choose a specialty in a weapon or firearm when you purchase this merit. I can only quick draw things I'm specialized in. That reflects further training beyond just my specialty. So it will take me Two turns. It'll okay. Take me, it'll take me two turns to get this scorpion reloaded. Wait, why two turns? You just need one action. No. Refle like, I can reflex on this turn to put the gun up. Reflex next turn. Draw the weapon. Like, basically equip the weapon. Yeah, this turn and next turn for you to reload. I use my... Wait a minute. Because I use my action this turn to shoot the dude in the face. Do you want to move? 
or do you want to stay there? Oh, I actually want to stay there because I know the dude with the automatic weapon is south of me. Here's the thing. You're pretty confident that he's reloading. So you're going to have to factor that in to whether you're going to be able to get your gun up and reload in time. Actually, no. I think it's served its purpose. I've killed, effectively killed three people with it. I'm not going to bother. The pistol's staying out. I'm going John Wick. I'm just working my way from my biggest gun down now. I have, it's up to you. I have 15 rounds left in the magazine. Yeah, we're switching. This is it's pistol time. It's pizza time. Just uh, updating your line of sight here because there's a window here mm -hmm. that you can see through. Now, mm -hmm. one sec. Are you going to fog of war the rest of the stuff? Is it not fog of ward? Well, no, no, where no, you've been, I think it's fine. Okay. Places that you've been before. All right. Now, what I just need to do is properly do this because that is a window. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a John Wick character sheet. <laughs> Specialty in weapons. <laughs> All the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Specialty so you can see knives. past oh. the courtyard, there's a garden. And then past the window after that, there's some uh, cubicles. And after that, you don't see. Okay. What mm. are you doing now for your turn? Are you putting your gun away? No, no, no. The scorpion is still, like, I basically, I, t I assume that I have, like, a one or a two point sling for this thing. So it's around my, it's basically, it's hanging off of me. Kind of like Metal Gear Solid Five. Okay. So I have my pistol up, and... So, right about here, or actually here, um, it gets, that piece of the wall just gets blown off. Another shot gets fired. Another burst or another shot? Shot from a pistol. Okay. And now you hear the sound of reloading. Oh, shit, he dumped his entire mag besides one fucking bullet. Okay. Is it my and turn again? So you hear the sound of reloading and it's your turn again. All right. Um okay. I'm going to be at minus 2 coming in, 1 going at minus 1 going out cover, half cover. This minus quarter, 2 minus yeah. 1? Yeah, I want to be in half cover. Okay. Yeah, 1 out 2 in. And you're going to shoot with your pistol? I'm going to, you know, who do I see? Do I see, where is this guy? This guy right here. He hasn't moved? He's standing there. He hasn't moved. He's reloading. He just finished reloading. He's not in cover. Not in cover. He was basically hip-firing that door down. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a called shot on his arm. Okay. Whichever arm has the gun. Okay, his right arm. Okay. That's uh, minus three, right? Not a... F Wait, I can check this. Yeah, it's a minus... It's a minus two for arms. Minus two. Damage, damaging hit can inflict arm rack. Yeah, if I do more damage than his stamina, he drops his weapon. Okay. <laughs> How many dice are you rolling? Um, You're at a minus one. A minus one, a minus three. Minus four total. Do you have any bonuses? Just your specialty, right? Plus one. So I'd be rolling three dice. 
Um, I'm gonna burn a will. So okay. cut, boom, another willpower spent because this could change the dynamic of a fight in a goddamn hurry. <laughs> You're down to two already. Yeah, I'm down to two. Look, man. I'm going up at at least. He said there was at least five or six of them. Yeah. I've gotten four down. If I burn one will in a, if I can, you know, get it to one will a person, I'm going to come out ahead. <laughs> That's a good way of thinking of it. Oh my god, this is so. Mm. Fuck me, this is insane. <laughs> Shit. Are you Fuck. shooting? Yeah, I'm shooting his arm. Give me a fucking. <laughs> Let's see this goddamn garbage here. Six. Uh, roll six d ten greater than eight. Bang. Show me the money. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 Well, that's definitely higher than his stamina. Now, what does arm rack do? All right, let's look. I got it. <laughs> arm is broken, otherwise busted. You drop whatever you're holding. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Automatic. No, like now that I realize. Offhand that... penalties is what? Minus two? Yeah, yes. Wait, let's fucking find out. Because that's part of the combat stuff as well. Offhand. Yeah, minus two. But it means he's going to have to spend an action to pick it back up. He's going to pick it up. He's going to be using his other hand. So he's going to take a minus two from that. Okay. My turn again? Um, wait. Use an action so to this is what he does. Because now... Well, that guy... Well, there's still this guy. Yeah. He's just on the ground, writhing in pain. He's going to do a chance roll. Okay. Show me the money, you <laughs> fucking whore. I can't believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's fucking three damage, isn't it? No, it's... That's going to be four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a stamina roll to stay conscious. He shoots a... you right in the shoulder, dude. He's like oh, taking his time. The other guy's bastard. reloading, and he just gets a shot off right on your shoulder. <laughs> you take four damage, so that's gonna be. I'm at zero health. You have to resist getting knocked unconscious. Some... Yeah. Okay. Oh God! Can I spend a willpower on this? Of course, you should. <laughs> okay, now question, is it, do I have to make a stamina roll um, every every turn? Every turn. Oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, God, what was I thinking? Six to one? Oh, it's not it easy, was, dude. You, this is a job easy. for somebody who's like Highly trained in weaponry and all or that two, stuff. Or two people with Kevlar. Yeah, or two people. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. And better equipment, too. Zirkov must not Fuck. like you. <laughs> well, Zirkov doesn't care if I live or die. Oh, Christ. All right, let's see if you can go... Let's see if you can resist. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I'm burning another will. Oh, I'm so... What is that, fucking... stamina plus something else? Stamina. No, it's just flat stamina. Jesus. No, check if... Let's check. Because this is now important. Let me just turn my fan away. <laughs> Hmm. Health, injury, healing. Uh, full health attracts and upgrading damage. If a character's health is filled with bashing, each point of further bashing 
This player must make a reflexive stamina roll for each turn to remain conscious. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God, that automatic damage is the worst. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, I'm so mad. <laughs> I love it, though. This is beautiful, Thingler. This is beautiful. Yeah, it's great. It makes sense. I mean, you did go oh, up against God, everything is six so... Yakuza members. What yeah. did you expect? Holy you shit. You started off pretty good, though. I think you got further than most people would. <laughs> I know. Oh, Now, I would say this. Do your roll. And depending on what happens, I have an idea. So just okay. go ahead. Roll. Yeah, of course I'm going to spend a fucking will. Am I? Do you think I'm able to spend a willpower to do this? Yeah, you should. Um, so I got all hits on a on fifty one d zeros. Fucking st shut up, puddin. <laughs> Than eight hit. <coughs> okay. Now, normally you would go unconscious, mm -hmm. and that would be the end. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much dead. Daniel mm -hmm. um, won't make it out of this alive. That's the end of his story. But here's the thing mm -hmm. in the last ditch attempt, you notice something weird on your Kevlar vest, and attached to it, is what looks like an EpiPen. You're not sure what it is, but it has a little note on it saying, Love, Surkov. Okay. Might as well. You're about to die anyway. Would I be able to... Well, I'm un, I'd be unconscious, so would I be able to use the willpower point as I'm going down the wall, as I'm trying to stay conscious to like grab that and hit myself with it? Yeah, this, this could be a reflexive. It's fine. All right, so... What is that? Another is that basically this is just to since we're just experimenting with the combat. Let's see what happens. Do like you a, use it like a gear bonus? Well, no. Yeah. Do you oh, stab you yourself just, with you it? Wanted to say like it's an automatic go back up to you know one bashing left. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't think you understand. It's basically an adrenaline shot, and you can go the rest of the combat without having to resist going unconscious, but you still have oh, all of those boxes no. filled. <laughs> oh, shit, no. He's handing me some fucking devil cocktail. Oh, God, I'm not in a good place right now, guys. Because <laughs> knowing Surkov, it's not just adrenaline. This is some designer <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's... Oh, God. Yeah, fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound, man. and gunpowder mixed in there. It's a... Uh, some yeah, dirty Russian shit right yeah, there. He has like scratched and crayon on the side. Angel semen. <laughs> Fuck it, man. That's a good name. I hate it. I'm all, I'm so not okay with some of these. Th <laughs> so, you basically feel this thing pumping through your veins. You feel more awake than you've ever felt in your life. You don't feel the pain of any of those bashing damages. Okay. And you're up again. Seven now. Lethal. <laughs> I have six lethal well, no, you've got, as soon as you've I hit. Got a, you've got all seven boxes with bashing, right? Yeah. Okay, you're fucked up. But you're not going to go unconscious. Yeah, but no, it's right. It's not a stim pack. This is a Zerk needle. <laughs> I am using... Basically like, an adrenaline I'm not, shot. I'm using Hideous Destructor Berserk right now. Actually, no. Holy shit, that'd be terrifying if you could find a The next thing you see oh, is God. this motherfucker right here. He is just diving as he is burst firing his gun. Okay, because it's his turn. Okay. Now, is he... Okay, let's... Let's fucking go. So you're behind this. You were at what? Minus two, minus one? Half? Uh, two, minus two coming in, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Check the damage on this thing. Oh, a Glock will be a uh, one damage. So he just did two. No, this guy has like a an actual. 
what looks like either an assault rifle or a large submachine gun. Fuck me. This is the guy that destroyed the door. If it's a submachine, remember? if it's a submachine gun, it's two damage. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be three damage. Now your armor is going to help you, but whatever is left is going to be immediately turned into lethal. Why? Because you're already full of bashing damage. True. So that's going to be two lethal damage starting from your leftmost box. Okay. Your Kevlar isn't going to help you from now on. It, this thing is going through the Kevlar. The Kevlar is busted up. Now the Kevlar will stop one damage. For the sake of the gameplay, your Kevlar is not helping you anymore. You're, uh, you're starting to get... Taking full damage know, now. It's breaking skin. Gotcha. These bullets. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> so I'm right now at what? Six? So I had all boxes full of bashing and then I just took two? Yeah. Okay. So oh, you're at two lethal. Shit. Uh, you can put two L. We'll just assume the rest is filled with bashing. Okay, two lethal. All right, oh, so uh, from the corner of your eye, looking through the courtyard, there's a guy over there that looks at you. And you see an enemy right here. Okay. See this? Yeah. Through the courtyard. He peeks through this window. Okay. He's just over 10 meters. So let's see. His initiative will be seven. I'll make him a six. So you just acted or no? I have not moved yet, no. Okay, it's your turn. Got to get this order right. So he just acted. Next one is not him, it's him. Okay, your turn. Go ahead. I would move if I were you. You're getting pincered. Oh, yeah, I am getting <laughs> pincered, and I'm fucking in a bad place. But this guy's already... this. Uh, how does this guy look? This guy looks hurt, right? This guy looks messed up? Ping him? Um, yay, looks messed up. Uh, What did you get on him? I don't remember. That's your job to keep track of. You click, click, the, click the icon and keep track of his health on your end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I don't remember what I got on him. I think it was like... Four, oh no, I got four damage on him. Because I hit him in the arm right. and now he's shooting offhand. He looks hurt. He's bleeding. You can see that you got him. But he's still... He dove and he shot at you. So he's still in the fight. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Is the bathroom door open or closed still? Because he didn't open it this the one? first time. Yeah. It's closed. It. It's one of those swinging doors. It always closes. Okay. Um, I'm going to, like, run over on top of him. Um, and, like, basically standing above him to where he doesn't have the prone bonus. Uh-huh. I'm just going to shoot him. Center mass. No funny business. Okay. So, what would you get extra from that? In the situations that I've heard, I can't remember if I read this in one of the other books, or if this was the core book. Um, it says, prone target, minus two to hit in ranged combat, plus two to hit within close combat distance. So you get a plus two? I get a plus two. Okay. So we're going to roll... 8d10. 
This guy is cooked. Damn, dude. What? That's some... Shit on me! Oh no, that's one hit. That's still two damage. Thank you. Did two damage? It's two damage. One success plus my one damage. Let, I'm gonna let you on a little secret. That was just enough. <laughs> uh, was like, yeah, you so, blew his brains out. Yeah, so, as a, so as I'm running from this cover, you know, seeing that guy, they're kind of catching him in a glance. I run over. As I'm running over towards this cover, um, I just kind of tuck in my pistol. Pow! And shoot him, like, right in the back of the neck. Dude, I'm imagining some Max Payne shit mm -hmm. where mid-dive, you get this sweet headshot, and then you land right behind the cover. Okay. All right. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Man, prone, now, it, prone and in cover is fucking brutal, too. Like, if you're here's prone the thing. and in cover, what's up? Uh, just because you technically already died, and this is just uh, for experimenting here, yeah. I wouldn't normally tell you this, but don't forget, his gun has bullets in it, and yeah. it's fully auto. Oh, shit, that's right. It's a heavy submachine gun. Cool. So I'm at least I want to be in three go three coming in two going out of this guy, which I guess would be like here. Well, you can't see him from there because this door is locked. Well, not oh, locked, but door. closed. This door is closed. Uh, let me just reveal this enough for you so you can tell. But those are doors. Yeah, if you want, just make it so that like right. There, like just enough where we can start to see the arc. You mean like hide a little bit? Yeah, like hide about half of what you showed. Ah! Nice. Goddamn. <laughs> there you go. I meant like cut this in half where it's like a small like finger width pencil closer to the door you don't have to show there you go jesus christ fingler just realized if we were playing with the um brutal bleeding rules well, if we were playing with those rules, these guys probably would... The guy that got the two successes on you on a chance roll, he wouldn't have acted. Yeah. He would have been dead. I also probably would be, like, slowly dying. Even with the... Not really, because you, you only broke skin at the very end after you used the EpiPen. Right. Like, thank God for Kevlar, but fuck that asshole. Exactly. Fuck that <laughs> son of a bitch. This is the only reason why I gave you this EpiPen thing, just because, like, two successes on a chance roll is just really... Especially after I had already done a success on a chance roll. No, like, I'm pleased. Like, I don't even... I'm not even mad. I don't even, like, care if I win or not, Fingler. Like I said, I just want to <laughs> crash course this with you, and I think that this is right. This is correct. Yeah, for sure. And I really because... need to adjust... <laughs> Yeah, technically you ha you you didn't make it. You definitely you definitely went unconscious, and obviously the yakuza went up to your head and blowed your brains out. But I like the Surkov sort of making a little surprise there. You don't know if he's a friend. You don't know if he's an enemy. Surkov's scared. Have well, you seen Hardcore Henry? Yes. Do you remember <laughs> the evil blonde man with the special powers? Uh huh. I imagine Surkov as him, but on my side. Which means I'm still <laughs> scared shitless of this man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, could you tell the most dangerous way to end a man's life? Slowly. Okay. By breaking his heart. God. So your turn is done, right? Yeah. All right, who do we got here? That guy. Yeah, he's still dying there. So this guy shows up okay. in this corner. You're not sure if it's the same guy or not, but he shows. 
and he's going to roll initiative. That's a four. <laughs> hey, if some of these guys are out of commission... Oh, Fingler! What we need to do... Fuck you. Okay, that guy moves. Oh that's my his god, turn. that's so close and accurate. I want to fucking scream. What are you talking about? Pudding. Saren just said, watch the needle is like vampire's blood or something, and now I'm a ghoul. Is this from another game? Vampire the Requiem. Like, this is some kind of adrenaline mixed with Vitae. Oh, Saren is watching yeah. the stream? Yeah, Sledge oh, okay. is watching yeah, was... and Saren's watching. Okay, I was confused. Uh, so basically, don't you know I gotta do saying. this. You don't, oh, you know I gotta do it to him, son of a bitch. Uh, this corner right here. Yeah. Some tiles break in your face. Yeah, it gets shot. It misses you. Okay. But you're frightened. <laughs> I'm frightened? You're hanging on to life. No, I'm frightened right now. You don't have to tell me. I'm frightened. Like, these fucking tiles explode in front of my face. <laughs> son of a bitch. Actually, right, so no. this guy here. Wait a minute. He just rolled a chance die. He did, he and he missed. He rolled a one on a chance die. Oh! That's a dramatic Oh! Failure. That is a dramatic... Uh, you know what? This guy's been, like, one health for so many rounds now, and he's already been pretty badly opened up. I'd say he's dead. Okay. Because... He was bleeding for a long time. <laughs> okay. I was gonna I would have been okay with just his gun jamming, but I'll, they'll take him bleeding to death too. Nah. I'm tired of I'm tired managing of his... him in the turn order. <laughs> Fuck chance rolls. That's stupid shit. Get that baby shit out of here. Yeah, apparently uh chance rolls don't like you in this in roll twenty. Fucking specifically Daniel. I hate this garbage. This makes me smile. This guy here, he shows up at the in the corner here, and he fires some shots. All right. Now, he's going to fire at you. You're behind cover. Minus what are you, three. half? Minus three. Oh, you're substantial? Okay, minus three. Oh, shit. Okay. Actually, um, I was wanting to be in full cover from over here. To be in partial okay. cover from over there, but I didn't realize those doors were closed, so I guess I'm in full. If you're, yeah, if you're trying to be in full cover from over here, then that would apply over here as well. All right. I think that's fine. So that's a... He can't attack you, right? Nope. Actually, no, because if you're trying to be full cover from here, you're not too worried about this angle. Maybe your legs are showing a little bit. Is that being too... Am I being too, like, meticulous? I want to be just behind that wall entirely. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because okay. as far as I know, this guy is still trying to shoot at me. Um... Well, this also means... No, I'll be at a minus three because that guy would have been able to see me. And sh or actually, no. If he's laying down, which means he's further back, he can't see that corner. Okay, so this guy takes his action. He moves here. Oh, he uses action to double? Well, he was already at the corner there, so he moves. Wait. Didn't he, he just moved move? over here. Yeah, he, yeah just he just moved. Okay, sorry. Your turn. If it's my turn, I'm going to... Minus three. Three going in, three coming in, two out. Substan I'm gonna, I'd like to be three quarters cover. Mm hmm. You're going to shoot at him? Yeah. Six minus two. Is he in cover? He's a uh, minus one behind cover for you. So it'd be a 3d10 then. It's not bad. Give okay. it a try. Roll 3d10 greater than 8, bang. Shit. I'm gonna... Uh. Yeah, you light up that window there. It shatters even more. He's fine.
another guy shows up rounding this corner mm -hmm. and moving towards here behind this and you don't see him anymore. Okay. So he moves. Now he's going to try to shoot at you. You're at minus three. Minus three coming in. Yep. Okay. So he's going to, oh, okay. That's not. All right. Shoot and a miss. This actually sounds much less powerful than the, the 45 that you were getting shot at from before. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try to identify it? Um, Yeah. Firearms because, wits. Because this is a, in a combat action, would I be still be rolling minus threes? Oh no, because the crazy Zerk needle is fucking terrifying. Yeah, we could say that you're not doing minus threes, but if you have bashing damage, you would be taking that penalty. Yeah. But the Zerk needle is helping you out. You want to just say a minus one <laughs> because... Sure, minus okay, one. So roll, so that's a 5d10, it's a 5, so 4, 4d10, greater than 8, bang. And I get to roll 9s again, so... Gotta hit. Actually, no, because that's a specific uh, perception. Oh, no, you're right, so... You still figured it out. Yep. It sounds like a weak revolver. That's still a gun. <laughs> One success. I'm not going to tell you exactly what gun it is, but okay. it's a weak revolver. It's yeah. It's a weaker. It's definitely a weaker weapon. Okay, so this guy's turn. You're going to see this guy rounding this corner here, and he's going to jump into this shattered window, shattering it even more because it was just shattered. But he basically mm -hmm. breaks through. And you don't see him anymore until he shows up over here and you see him opening this door. So that's his action. So he's peeking through this open door right here. Okay. And now it's your turn. I am going to use my full movement to run to here and take cover. Oh no, as I'm running, I shoot him from here. Kind of turn and bang and shoot his and shoot this guy's ass. So you're going to have to get to here. You can shoot him from cover if you want. Hmm? You're going to have to reach this cover and then shoot him. No, I'm planning on ending up here, but I want to, like, as I'm running down this hallway, choke a 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 like, turn when I'm about here and shoot this guy. It's just that wherever you end up, mm hmm. Because you do your movement and your action separately. Oh, so I can't move, shoot, move? That would be two moves. So you have to move, shoot, or shoot, move. We're not, so rolling, we're either... not running. We're not, oh, we're not doing this like D&D. &D, where you have like a pool of movement to use. Yeah, you just have three. Reflexive, move, and action. Right. You can choose which uh, one to use first, but... Gotcha. That's one way to do this. No, the advantage of you going here and then shooting him is that you get to decide which type of cover you're behind, and you don't suffer against his cover, because he's behind minus two cover here. Mm -hmm. If you shoot him from where you were before, here in the bath near the bathroom, you're suffering from his cover. So that's the advantage. So you can reach here. Let's say you run, you get here, you choose whichever type of cover you want, and then you shoot him. 
get it here. Let me just uh, actually. That. I like that because it makes things a lot you know faster and more brutal. Like if you want to be a couple of people kicking in a door, you can't like take your movement to step inside, shoot, and then continue moving in. Here, to be honest, you would have seen this whole courtyard running there. So I'm yeah, just gonna. So I'll be in here. I'll be in minus two cover. Take your shot. That's minus two, minus one, so minus that's minus three. Out. Minus no, minus one going out. Oh, you've done the math already? Okay. No, 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 because like if I'm in cover and I'm shooting him and he has no cover. Yeah, but that's minus two because you also have your health penalty. Remember? The EpiPen only gives you like plus two from your health boxes. Oh, so it'd be a minus two penalty overall? Okay. You got it. And you did take the guy's gun, right? Well, I guess now you forgot nope. to take his gun. No, because the um, I thought about it. I didn't want to pick up his weapon because I didn't know who'd be coming. Because it'd be a movement to get out there and an action to grab it. And I wouldn't be able to use the rest of my movement to get back into cover. You would have been able to pick up his gun and then move to where you are now, but you wouldn't be able to fire now. No, because I'd have to. Because if I was in cover, I'd have to move out of cover and action to grab it using what we just talked about. Yeah, that's true. Because you weren't like right next to him when you killed him. Right. Okay, I agree. That's a little different than I'm used to, but it also gives. Because if you're gonna move and then do an action, do you want to reload your submachine gun? That's still two turns, Fingler. That's two turns that I don't have because these guys are like hyper aggressive. Well. Go ahead, then. I still got 13 rounds left in the 9 mil, and I'm a fucking wizard with it. Shoot him. Minus two. Two successes. <laughs> Bam. Two plus two. All right. Yeah, th that's, that's three, three damage. So. Um, three damage. Okay. Okay, you light him up through the window. How much damage did I do on the... I haven't done any damage to Yakuza 6. No, you haven't. Not a single bit. Okay. Can you click on them, by the way, and see their little circles? Uh, No, but if I hover over them in the turn order, it highlights who's who. Yeah, but you don't see the little like red, green, blues circles, nope, right? not on them. Okay, that's what matters. Um, yeah, the turn order, it's even better that you can see which is which. Okay, so now it's that guy's turn. He's going to peek. He's going to be running over, and you see him through these doorways here. Well, through the one doorway. And he gets here, and he sort of, like, does that baseball, you know, skid to base type thing, and he sort of crouches by this corner here mm -hmm. and he takes another shot at you and in this case he's at a uh minus is he two minus cover? one it's half, half cover, cover yeah so he takes a minus one did he have any penalties from before i don't think so it's a minus one and you're not behind cover for him, so... I'm flanked. Please be gentle. <laughs> oh. That's two damage. One lethal. Boy, boy. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> All right, so now it's Yakuza 4's turn. Yakuza 4's turn. You're at a minus uh, two for him, right? Uh, yeah, minus two. Now, you actually see what he has, and you don't need to roll for this. He has a pump-action shotgun. Oh! <laughs> well, so be glad that you're please, you're at minus two. Be gentle. It's not going to matter, because he's going to roll you... nines. He's going to fucking spray. <laughs> you don't want him to hit you. Gun. With this fucking gun. I don't want to get 
Let's do this. Let's go. One success. Oh, oh shit. It's grazing, but a lot of pellets hit you in the arm, dude. Oh, that's four damage. <laughs> I'm at seven boxes lethal. That's three lethal. So add another three lethal. Because you won, you take off. Because it's the one success plus three, so that's four. I've got one health left. Now you're at minus two, dude. I'm sorry, but oh, <laughs> you're definitely oh. definitely at minus two right now. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Okay. Holy shit! No, I'm not fucking going out breezy. Your turn again. I'm not going out breezy. There's zero percent chance I'm going out easy. Fuck that noise, dude. <laughs> Straight in the mouth. I kept telling you to get that some sort of machine gun. I didn't. You have... need more firepower. <sighs> I'm actually doing just as good as I was with my submachine gun as I am with my pistol now. That's true because you do have a lot. You I have, have, a, you have a few more dice. I don't take a. I don't take a strength penalty. And I have a bonus. Um. So I'm going to spend a willpower shot and fuck this guy's day. Yeah, you definitely don't want him around. <laughs> Fangler, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Also, I hope everybody watching this stream is enjoying me getting completely fucked. Oh, man. Holy shit. If I arm rack somebody using a two-handed weapon. Do they have to roll with a minus three every time they use it offhand? Or a minus two? Well, minus two because it's offhand. No, but I'm talking the fact that you need both hands to use a pump-action shotgun. I think it's still going to be minus two. Just because he still has one good hand. Yeah, I think that's me trying to like over. Because I'm thinking like if this cuts both ways, I don't want to have my shotgun knocked out of my hands because some asshole with a machine gun got lucky. I mean, he's he's already damaged. Yeah, fuck it, center mass. The first Let's... time you attacked him, Let's... you noticed that you you know damaged him a lot. So yeah, that was a good shot. So let's do it again. I'm gonna before I use my movement, I'm going to take a second shot at this guy, and I'm gonna burn a will. Let's fucking go. I'm on the edge of death. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so that's a minus two going out because there's minus three because you're at a minus two from health, minus one from cover. So that's minus three plus my willpower. Yeah, plus your willpower. So basically, zero modifiers. They are a d10. Oh, please don't let me go out like a bitch. Let me go out like a king. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> I want to shoot him straight in the fucking, like, right in the chest. Like, I don't want to have a <laughs> flare. I want to, like, this guy's leaning against the wall. I want to slump his ass against that wall. Okay, so this window here that was in front of you that you were shooting through, it's not broken it's shattered mm -hmm. this shot completely breaks it all the shards fall down and this guy gets hit right in the center of the chest it's a heart shot and he just drops his shotgun clutches his chest drops to his knees like a golden eyed death animation <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just slumps with his face on the ground yeah I fucking bet he's dead that's five and then I'm going to run here. Okay, so you run there. Now let me see. You can see more stuff now. Wait a minute. I think I've used... I think that was my last willpower that I just used. Yeah, you don't have any more. <laughs> I have zero willpower left. What's your magazine like? Uh, right no, now, 12? I still have 12 fucking bullets left. That's the best part about <laughs> being skilled with pistols that have a decent capacity. <laughs> yeah, you're not constantly auto-firing and not, losing all your bullets. 
<laughs> well, no, I would have been doing way more damage if I was packing that, uh, if I was, you know, not a shrimp trying to control an automatic weapon. So I think there's also additional rules if you try and auto fire whenever you're under strength. Mm. This new damage system is so fucking terrifying. Things where I can't convey. But you can tell that it's balanced. It's so like, be no, honest like, because it's look, way better. you face it's so much better. I'm a <laughs> I'm going to get six be... dudes. I'm a ta okay. I'm One, a tactically two, three, I'm a tactically four. minded person. Exactly. So with I think it's perfectly vest, fine. With a Kevlar vest, with a Kevlar vest, and an automatic suppressed submachine gun. People need to remember that there's willpower. Player characters can use willpower. That's a huge deal. <laughs> and you can use tactics. I mean, but it's still deadly. Because it should be. Oh my god, where my character is right now. I'm in such a bad place. My main gun's <laughs> empty. I am inches from death. I have zero extra um flexed in me. I am tired. Are you going to take a chance and uh, reload that submachine gun or it's not still two turns that i don't have because i'm positive this guy's gonna charge me i don't think it's two turns it's one reflexive to put away your pistol and then what? an action to reload the not the submachine not in, gun not when it's not in my hands no because you have quick draw i have quick draw pistol Quick draw, oh, you have to specify what you weapon have to you have. specify because gotcha. the way it works is say i have my shotgun now, say I have, like, a Saiga shotgun. Cool. I have, like, four dots. I get a specialty with the shot with shotgun, so my Saiga is now... I'm a lot more deadly with it. I understand how shotguns work. Hey, you know what you need right now? Mm -hmm. Fighting-style combat marksmanship. Two dots. Tactical reload. <laughs> yeah. Your Maybe character's later. muscle memory enables her to reload without conscious thought. Once Maybe. per turn, she may reload a firearm that feeds from a detachable magazine or use a speed loader to revol reload a revolver as a reflexive action. Yeah. That's what you need. That's what you <laughs> need. Yeah. You I'll wanted to make uh, John Wick, didn't you? I'll there be you going. Go. No. Because <laughs> this guy isn't John Wick. This guy's like half John Wick, half like, you know, brain. He's like a shitty John Wick, to be honest. <laughs> John, off-brand John Wick. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's dollar store John Wick. Yeah. Also, who do you think would win in a fight, John, John Wick or Max Payne? Mm, That'd be a hell tough. of a fight. <laughs> That'd be a fucking fight. You just, you just place the two best the two kings, against each the other. The two kings of noir. Cause, <laughs> yeah, because it's fucking... Oh, that's a fight. Hey, chat, who do you think would win, Max Payne or John Wick? Okay. Okay, I'm in cover. Okay, so you're in cover. Okay. Who's next? Oh, this guy's next. The only guy who's still alive. Uh Wait a minute. No, no, no. Yeah, it's it's Yakuza 6 is dead. No, uh Yakuza 4 is dead. Yakuza 6 is still alive. How well do you trust Sirkov? Daniel. <laughs> There's two ways to come at that question. Do I trust him to keep me alive to make me miserable again? I trust that. I trust him to Here's make me happens. miserable. I. Oh, Here's what happens. You're behind cover. The guy to your right, that's who you're expecting to act. You hear from that direction a bunch of Japanese just a bunch of Japanese. I can't do Japanese, but that's okay. what you hear. And it's very threatening. And it doesn't sound like he's getting any closer, but he yells something at you. And then you basically notice right here at this corner, just that whole corner get torn to pieces. Okay. And you're wondering, this guy had a weak revolver. How is this wall getting torn to pieces? That's, that's back up. Well, you don't know for sure. But there's a guy. He shows up here because you could 
you you can see that. Mm -hmm. And he just shreds up that corner of yours, dude. Wait, does he see me or does he just shoot past me? He's shooting at that area that he knows you're at, but he doesn't see you, which That's is why I didn't roll. Fire. No, no, but I'm technically under yeah, effects basically, of suppression. It's basically suppressive fire. fire. Yeah, it, it, there's no chance of actually hitting you, but he's just like tearing it up. He doesn't that, know if you're running out, if you're also, running in. That also means that you know if he spends you know the deal to do that shoot, that if I step out to shoot at anybody from my cover position... No, he already he shredded it up. He he stopped shooting, so you're fine. Oh no, it's called covering fire. Mm -hmm. Well, he has only five initiatives, so not too bad. Oh, what the hell? Wait, that's not right. That guy's dead. Get him out of here. That guy acted. They both acted. It's your turn again. Covering fire takes 10 bullets. Okay. Oh, God, motherfucking bitch hole. I knew there was more than fucking six of them. I fucking knew you, Sirkov, you whore. <laughs> Haven't you learned your lesson yet? I have flashbangs. <laughs> I was God wondering when you were going to bring those out. Damn it. Dude. <laughs> I wasn't going to say shit, though. You can die with those flashbangs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for not telling me anything. I didn't write them down on my sheet. I should have. Son of a fuck. I asked for them and everything. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> uh... Yeah. No, I'd like to take out one of my flashbangs. Can I take out a flashbang? Oh, no. It's, it's, you said it's late. You said it's a... Uh... Strung on my vest, right? Like, I can just pull the pin and toss the bitch? You're prepared to use them. I don't think it's uh, getting them out of your inventory or anything like no, that. Like, they've been dangling on my fucking web gear this entire time. Yeah. Yeah, you can use them. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna use my action to ping and then throw it down the hallway this way. So what is that? That's athletics, dexterity... You're at a minus two from your health. So let's see what happens. It's a 3d10. Oh, wait, I have to roll another one. Roll another. Fuck. Okay, so. They're nothing. I got the hit. The flashbang <gasps> oh bounces my God. off here. I would have. No, it like... moves past your line of sight, and then you see a very bright light illuminate this whole wall here, mm -hmm. this whole section. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you know what? Let me get this here. This whole wall here, it's like this big flash. It doesn't hit you in the eye, but you see the whole thing just light see up. the whole place light up, and there's a massive bam. Yeah. So that's your action. Now, let's see here. That guy moves next. So that's him. This guy goes into the courtyard, moves past. He's over here. You see the side of his body past the window, and he points the revolver at you and fires. He's at a minus two. Okay. So he's at a minus two. You're not in cover from this guy because he's looking straight at you. It's a minus, but it's a minus two going out. Minus one yeah. for him, minus two for you to hit him. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So that's three. So I think that's one lethal. Two. It's two lethal, right? I would take two lethal, so I'm dead. It was a good run. <laughs> that was so good. I fucking killed four people. Dude. Dude. I did good. My assessment is that you did really good, much better than I expected. I honestly did not expect you to kill more than three of these guys. And you got five of them. I got fucking tactical sense, thing. That's insane. But look, <laughs> honestly, you should have used your flashbangs. I, I and you should have 
had more faith in your fully automatic weapon. You don't want to stop using that. I know I didn't want to, but I was also like, I should have gone in. But with then like again, a you're specialized in pistols. Yeah. No, yeah. like I was like, I have to use this heavy thing, but I was stupid and wrong. But if I wouldn't have used the heavy, because the thing is, if I would have just mm, light, if you wouldn't have used the heavy, you would have had better chance of hitting enemies, but your damage wouldn't have been as high. It would have been zero damage because it would have knocked the one damage sub gun down to a zero damage lethal. Right. So all of my stuff would have come from me hitting, which is reflect the considering fact that, that you were not the right, you were not shit. the right man for the job. You didn't have the strength no, for I it. I was the wrong number of men for the job. The wrong number I of men killed, for the job. I was the, the right man for the job. I killed five fucking people. No, you you misunderstand me. I'm not saying you, the player. You, the player, were, were very was very intelligent, but the character, your stats, they weren't specialized for this, or, <laughs> and you did really well even, considering. Forget, forget stats. Daniel Scott was a good candidate, but not the right one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. One against six Yakuza. Seven. You're not really up there in that level yet. Like, you're just a low-level mobster at this point. No, seven, Fingler. Look, you got two firearms. I, I mean, killed one five. Brawl. I killed five people. I That's what I'm saying. Was... You did no, no, really no, no, no. well. All things you said, considered. I went up against seven. If I would have remembered those fucking flashbangs. And yeah, for sure. If, I think if, if you'd used if, the flashbangs, you would have made son it. Of, if this son of a bitch the wasn't EpiPad. there. Yeah, if this son of a bitch wasn't there. Um, and it was just me dueling this guy down at the end of the hall. I would have flashed him. I would have fucking wrecked his shit. Even if there was that other guy. Well, it's hard to say. Because this guy over here. Mm -hmm. He had a... Uh, Glock 18 as well. Oh fuck! Never mind. I would but have done. If you had been using the flashbangs from the start, you might have been able to get enough time to get another mag in your, in your weapon. That would have been something. That would have been. Because what if you uh, wanted to do a full auto? Like, what if you saved that for full auto for this last guy? Who knows? Hmm. You know. I can Kill finally. Him in one I shot. can finally see why having. But that was still really good. 5D10 knocks, Saren. Okay. I'm going to cut the recording right here. Dude, I have to rethink all of how I look at the Chronicles of Darkness now, and you don't understand how happy that makes me. Just the fact that this is how lethal everything is all the time. <laughs> I'm imagining how this would have gone if I wouldn't have had Kevlar. I would have probably, I wouldn't have gotten, I would have gotten two guys, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin is so big. God, oh my if you God. really think about it, willpower helped you out a lot, and cover. Cover is like, it's it's serious business. You got to oh, be behind cover. You survived a shotgun blast for Christ's sake. <laughs> I went out like goddamn Rasputin. <laughs> I'm so happy. And you actually got the job done because what did Surkov want? He wanted a scene. He wanted to send a message. If you died, whatever. You still killed most of them. I should have left. No, I wouldn't have had time to leave. There's no way of knowing if there was going to be more on the streets. That's true. Waiting like, for watch, you. I run out into the alleyway, and then suddenly, like a car pulls up, and like a bunch of doors get out, and I'm just sitting there, standing, like bleeding half to death. Because look, the second things. guy that the second guy that saw you fired off a shot immediately after that. Everybody in the building knew what was going on. Those people you didn't know about, mm -hmm. you don't know if they called somebody. So there's a good chance that if you did make it outside of the building, there would have been some more baddies. It would have been over like there. a presence. It would have been like a presence <laughs> drive to not fucking make a scene. Yeah. Oh no, it'd be presence. Um. You would have had to get a, gone out of the building from the like the west fire escape, some sort of back entrance. Oh fuck! Something that's like right. That. This is a three-story building. I would have had to run. I would have had to make it all the way down the stairs without falling. Completely. Yeah, but there's other exits. Oh god, I don't want to think about this. Was so stress. Oh, this. Is... Ooh, <laughs> this was good. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say we accomplished what we set out to do. Oh god. Yeah, I would have rather uh, we. I've even. Ugh, we've been recording for 
two and a half hours. I think this was way more fun than two and a half hours of Siege. I agree. Ugh. Then again, RPG is like my favorite hobby, so. Yeah, I could do this. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording. All right. Uh... <laughs>